Okay, hey guys. Welcome to my animation thing or whatever. I'm just gonna show you a really quick thing. So what you wanna do first is go to your timeline. Click that. You can manually adjust it up and down. There's some other tools alongside with the work with the animation program, but I don't really care to understand them. You don't really need to care about this part either. It's just kind of like numbers, I guess. So if you want to make your animation longer, just drag it. You can drag your workspace around. This first layer here is going to be our background. You know, if you want something stationary, just have this in the background instead of, you know, manually putting it in. The part we're going to care about the animation is in the new animation folder. Let's just click that. Uh, let's just back our workspace. Drag that back here, and if you want to, uh, the easiest way to get a new animation cell is just click the animation cell. It automatically put it wherever you are in the timeline. See right here. But let's kind of just make something really fast. If you want onion skin on? You can just turn it right there. Alright, there's my there's my animation. Like just a nice simple bounce. And then let's say right in frame it's four. I want audio, so what you would go to is file, import, audio. Now these are gonna be MP3s only. So you can see here for your animation, it's going to be really long and intimidating because you'll be like, whoa, it's huge. So if you want to drag it around, this is going to drag, if you click anywhere in the middle, it's going to drag the whole entire thing around. But if you click at the end, then you can clip and chop it however you want. Then it'll go... Alright. You can also adjust your animation the same way. If I move it over here, in the middle, it's going to shift everything around. But if I drag it at the end, then it's going to trim it. I like to keep everything neat and clean. And let's say, oh, actually, uh, I want my animation to be just a little longer. Just drag it back. And then... If you, uh, sorry, if you click specify cells, you can also, um, you have to manually click the spot that you want to specify the cell at, but this is an easy way to just go back and forth with what cells you want to see. And then we can also, as well, import video. So if you go to import movie, it's going to be MP uh, MP4s with this. But the thing is, is that you can't have audio. You have to separate them. Yeah, see, it won't have any kind of audio or anything. If you want to delete something, if it's a uh, animation, you could just do normal layer deleting. <clears throat> you can also copy and paste images in. Um, Let's say I want this newt in the animation. So copy and paste. You would paste into the animation folder. You would specify your layer. 
and then she would be in there. So like a little jump scare. And then let's say, actually no, I actually want it in the background. You just copy paste your new in there. Then she's right there. She's a little new. And then when you're ready to export, go to File, Animation, and then Movie to have your audio and your visual out. And there you have your very special, very cool animation that you didn't have to watch a two hour edit video for, presented by uh, me. I'm not the best expert, there's probably better tutorials out there, but thank you for uh, watching mine, listening to me.